Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm happy that you're here today. I am going to talk about what I bring in my carry-on bag. Now, I'm in California and it's in the middle of a heat wave right now, so I feel like I'm pretty much melting, but I really wanted to come on because I am planning a trip. I'm going to go to uh, Greece and Egypt. So I am packing my carry-on bag a little bit early, and I thought that I would share with you what I bring on my carry-on bags, the bag that I put under the seat so I have access to all of the goodies that are in my bag. So this is my travel-on backpack that I carry with me, and I am going to unpack it and show you what I am bringing. So let's get started. First thing, I'm going to be gone for two weeks, and I don't think I could be without my computer for two weeks. And my computer is nice and small, so I'm bringing that, because I might do a YouTube video there and share it with you, and I want to make sure that I have my computer with me. So the other thing I carry in here is my jewelry case. Now, I don't carry expensive jewelry, but I don't want someone to think that it's expensive and to take it. So I just bring a few, I bring a few little things, but I want to carry it with me because I don't want to replace them. Then I have my masks. I bring my masks with me because other countries have different requirements than we do. And um, we need to make sure, I want to make sure that I have my masks with me. And well, in the last video, I shared this little cup holder to put on the luggage, and I want to make sure I bring this, because this is going to come in really handy when I really want my coffee <laughs> or tea. I'm bringing my selfie stick, because I like to have it, in case I want to take, you know, a selfie of me and my friend who's uh, traveling with me to Europe, and we're going to have such a great time. We're going, not Europe, we're going to Greece. And we're gonna have a really good time and I might want to have this with me in my mind when I pack my carry-on I think if my bag doesn't make it if my bag gets lost on the way to my destination do I have what I need in this carry-on to get me by for a few days I want to make sure that I have what I need um, so this is a little baggie that has some fun stuff uh, I'm going to be adding to this when I go to Egypt. I'm going to be adding Imodium AD because I've been reading that you need to maybe be careful with that. And I might bring some papaya pills. Those really help with, with your stomach. If you need, if you ate something that's not agreeing with your stomach, papaya pills work really well. So I'm going to order some of those. So let me show you what I have in this little bag. I have my wristband. Uh, motion sickness bands and these have been so helpful and I think in Greece I'm going to be going on a catamaran so I want to make sure that I have these with me I have um, some essential oils uh, I have some peppermint and I have digest Zen for motion sickness or stomach issues I want to make sure I'm prepared for any situation the other thing I'm going to add to this bag is I ordered some um, doTERRA On Guard hand sanitizer um, because I heard, of course you want to have hand sanitizer with you now everywhere, but I heard when you're in Egypt they might not have soap and they might not have, um, you know, I'm bringing my hand sanitizer. So I'm ordering some of that doTERRA. I'm bringing some Advil in a little pouch here. I have my eye to get some sleep, if I can sleep on the way over there. Um, I have, I just have a bunch of stuff in here for the plane. I have a little toothbrush. I have, uh, this goes here. I had a little um, plug-in earphones just in case, but they go in the side pocket, which I'll show you in a minute. They were in the bag. I have Lysol wipes. I have some jet lag. These Jet Lab homeopathic pills, and I have some hand san another hand sanitizer that I could use as wipes as well. So I want to make sure that I have everything that I need to make sure that when I'm on the plane, I have I have my toothbrush, and I have oh, I also have earplugs too, little earplugs if, if I decide that I could sleep. I'm gonna try to sleep, but you know sometimes it's hard. It's hard for me to sleep. 
I have this little flexible um, thing where I could put it on the tray in the airplane so I could watch my videos because I like to watch Netflix. I download Netflix on my phone and um, and I like to watch it. I like to watch my shows on my phone. The other thing to remember is that when you're in another country, it's hard to download. You can't download American movies. I tried when I was in Italy. I thought, oh, I want to watch this movie, but I, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. And um, it's warm in here. <laughs> so anyway, I'm bringing this. Oh, what else do I have here? I have a fan that I got in Sicily. Isn't that beautiful? I got this quite a long time ago. And I'm bringing a fan because I'm going to hot places and um, it's always nice to be prepared. I have this little towel that you can get wet and it will cool you off since I'm going to be going, like I said, to hot places. And I might want, you know, a little towel. I'll show it to you. It's really, they're really nice. I have one for my workout area and they're just like this. You can, you can get them damp and you can put them on your neck and it can really, it'll cool you down. So I'm bringing that. Oh, and what else do I have in this bag? I have my vitamins and my, my morning prescriptions, and I have my vitamins. So they're all in little bead bags. These are little bags that you could put anything in, and I put my vitamins in here so that I have them in this little um, cloth Ziploc bag. And um, then I could, I could have everything here. And I want to always take my prescriptions with me and my vitamins with me because I don't want them to get lost if the bag actually gets lost. Okay, handy dandy scarf for the varying temperatures on the plane. And maybe for the evening, it might cool down so you have a nice shawl. If I were going someplace cold, I'd make sure I had my down jacket in here. But since I'm going somewhere hot, I'm bringing the things I'm going to need for hot weather. I, oh, <laughs> okay, I have an empty plastic bag, em empty Ziploc. And the reason why I do this is because in the United States, I have TSA pre-check. So I can just go right through. I don't have to take anything out of my purse or anything out of my bags. And I can just walk right through. In other countries, it's not like that. So what I do is I make sure that I gather all of my liquids and I put them in the Ziploc bag and then that's what I just keep on the top and I could take it out. So I just prepare when I go to another country. I have my little handy dandy bag just in case I need another bag. And I have a change of clothes. So what I have here is I have a pair of shorts since I'm going somewhere warm, I have a shirt, I have a little dress, and I have a, a change of undies. Just to make sure if anything should happen, I have a change of clothes here. So that's really important. And I also have the stash band that if I wanted to wear this underneath my dress or underneath my shirt where I could put my cell phone and I could put any money or anything else so you can, and it stays flat and it, it works really great. So I'm always going to bring that um, for sure. Now, on the side here, I've decided I'm just going to put my electronic cords in here and my water bottle. Boom! So here's my water bottle because it shrinks down nice and small and so that I can stash it and then get it when I need to fill it up. And um, I always, okay, so this is my headset. I always want to make sure I have a headset. Now, I have weird ear balls. <laughs> my, I can't wear AirPods. I can't wear certain types of um, earphones because they just fall out of my ears. But I have found that these are really great. They stay in my ear. They're comfortable. They don't fall out. I love them. But I like to make sure I have a backup with you know one of these plugs, just in case I don't like the plug that they give me for the ears if I wanted to watch something on the screen on the airplane. So I bring, I like to bring those just in case. Here's my computer cord. 
The other thing to, this is my uh, charger for this. The other, and then this is another, uh, if, I, if this happened to die and I couldn't recharge it, then I could use this one for my phone. And I have this for my computer. I have this cool little nifty thing that I could charge everything on, including my iWatch, which I will bring with me. So this is really nifty. And, on the airplanes and in the airport, you can charge your phone and you don't need to have one of these. You don't need to have one of these because lots of times you just have a USB. So make sure that you bring the USB plug so that you can plug this in and charge your phone. There's <laughs> Nico. <laughs> so this is really important to remember because I actually, my computer cord, I don't know if you could see that, but my computer cord has one of these. And you could plug, see, you can see that's kind of different. And you can plug this into, um, you know, to a little outlet like here, like this one right here, the small little one. This is the one, a European plug that I like to bring, but I'm not gonna put this in my backpack. I'm gonna put this in my suitcase. So anyway, this just a really great tip is to remember to make sure to bring a regular USP USB to plug in for your phone. So that is, oh, so this is my little cell phone. You can hook this on to the, um, to the airplane seat and you can put your cell phone on here and watch it on here if you like. And I'm gonna bring this also. And let's see, now let's open the front pouch. And I have this little, another little Ziploc, cloth Ziploc bag. And in here, I have some masks, facial masks, that I like to put on when I get to a destination. Not on the airplane, but they're in here. Because you really wanna hydrate your skin because when you're in an airplane for a really long time, you really get dry, everything gets dry. And I have some tissues, and I have some eyeglass cleaner and an eyeglass wipe, which is so important. And I have my very favorite, na the Naked Bee um, lip balm, very important. And I also, um, I don't have it with me, but I'm going to buy it, the Naked Bee hand cream, because I have to have a hand cream and I have to have lip balm. If I had to choose, two things that are the most important, well, hmm, I'd say three things that are the most important thing on the airplane is water, lip balm, and hand cream. But I like to have everything with me because I like to make sure that when I need something, I have it. Okay, so that is what I carry in my backpack. One more thing, I have this small little wallet. It's so old. <laughs> it's so old, but I can't find, I just love it so much. And what I do is I have some euros. I like to make sure that I always have some euros just in case I need it. So if I don't go with euros, I will make sure I exchange uh, and get some money. So when I go to Egypt, I don't have any Egyptian pounds and I'll have to get that at the airport because you definitely want to make sure that you have some. Now there are a few things that I don't have to share with you, but I am ordering them and I'm going to try it. So compression socks are supposed to be very important and I you know of course I think that I'm so young <laughs> and I don't need to wear compression socks but um, the long flights take a toll on your body and so I bought a pair of compression socks and I'm gonna try to wear them so I will let you know how it goes I'm um, I'll show you the ones that I'm gonna buy or I've already bought them I don't have them yet and I'm gonna buy those and I'm gonna try those the other thing that um, I wanted to share with you is that I bought a new purse. I bought this purse um, off of Facebook actually, and I am just loving it. Um, and I like, so this has a front little pouch with a little snap on it, and I like to keep my passport and my vaccination cards all together in that front pouch when I travel. 
There is a cute, sorry. There is a cute little passport holder that you can put your passport in here and you can put your credit cards in here. And I tried using it the last time I traveled internationally. It also comes with a pen. I found it very cumbersome. I don't know, I just didn't like it. I like to be able to go into my purse, pull out my passport, you know, go into my purse like this, pull out my passport, pull out everything that I need and just have it right there at the ready. So, and I would have all my documents in here too. If I had my other purse, it has a zipper, but I think this is pretty good. This purse is really cool. I'll show it to you real quick. It has one zipper out here and um, that's where I put my lipstick and then you could put, oh, it's so hard, to, I'm so sorry. You know, I have my eyeglass cleaner and my keys. It has two eyeglass, um, see it has two places for eyeglasses and it's been working out so great. The front pouch comes with um, a credit card holder, but I took that out because I like mine, but it, you know, it has a nice roomy, nice and roomy in there and um, then it has the side side pouch too so I, I I'm really loving it I've been using this now for maybe a month or two and I really like it so the last thing that I want to share with you is my um, I cell phone my cell phone holder I had got one of those bandolier cell phone holders of course I'm videoing with my cell phone right now but I really love this because I keep my one credit card and my driver's license in here and then it has this around so when I was at the airport I would have this around me like this and then I'd be carrying my bags and I, and then I'd have my cell phone on me all the time and I, I just I just love this. So I wanted to share that with you because that's gonna be coming with me everywhere I go. So I hope that all of this was helpful. This is just my um, my packing, um, getting ready to go for my next trip. I'll be going at the end of um, September, the beginning of October, and hopefully I'll be doing some videos uh, for you from there, like sharing some tips that I've learned while I'm there because um, I've never been to Greece or Egypt, so I'm really looking forward to it. If you have any tips or if there's anything that you think I forgot in my bag, let me know. And um, thanks so much for, for joining us. And here's Nico with his little toy. And he wanted to say hello and have a really great day. And ciao for now. Bye. Say bye, Nico. <laughs> thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.